Wow, my video shut off. I'm sorry, you. It, this is really strange. I just did not even, what, four minutes and the video shut off. Hmm. That's weird. Anyways, I'm going to pick up where I left off. You have some dark thoughts. And what I mean by that is not like suicidal thoughts, but like, is this relationship that you're struggling in going to work? You know, those depressing thoughts that we have, like, is this the right person for us? Or did I, you know, is this person not who I thought they were? That kind of thing. I also feel like you had someone die within the last six months to a year that you're still struggling with the loss of. You have someone that you look up to that's very much got goddess energy. Very much goddess energy, this person. They're like a mentor to you. And you don't talk as much as you'd like to, but you're going to start talking to them again because you really need this person in your life, even though you don't want to bother them. Be cautious of someone in your life in the next year or so that you are working with that seems like a backstabber. I keep seeing a backstabber. Don't trust everyone that you work with. Be cautious. I see a new job within the next year, maybe two. Something where you are the center of attention. I don't know what that means. And then I feel like this person that's going to argue with you or befriend you at work I see definitely at work is a gesture at heart meaning somebody you don't want to trust this is not a trusting person I hope you could see the artwork on this card it's fucking amazing excuse my language I love this artwork but you're going to be a triumphant if this relationship doesn't work out this is you triumphant you have the angels on your side even though you have these dark thoughts, even though the snake is here, people take this negatively, this is not negative. This is you grounding. This is you knowing that you're going to get through it. This is triumphant. These are your angels around you. You have angels, both dark and light. And I, I know a lot of people don't believe in dark and lightness, but when you let the dark in, which I have too, you balance your dark and light, there's no dark anymore. It's all one thing. You need to embrace your dark side, which you do. But you also need to embrace your emotional, loving, light side, like I do. I had a hard time with that when I was going through some stuff. And don't forget to eat right and take care of yourself. Now, I also feel like you're going to go on a trip in the next year to 18 months. And it's going to be a trip that's going to change you. Or maybe you've been thinking about going on a trip and this reading is going to make you think, well, maybe I should do it. I feel like it has something to do with Halloween, maybe. Because it keeps showing me different cards with Halloween. All right, let me see if I'm going to pull my animal deck. So I have an animal totem, spirit animal card deck that I use all the time when I feel like I need to ask something. So I'm going to ask for two cards that pertain to the next year for Gemini. So let's see what cards they pull out. And then after these three, two cards, I will end the reading for Gemini. Let's see. Two cards. Two cards. Spirit, two cards. And I'm sorry this is in two parts. I apologize for the video cutting out. So, I'm going to read to you because this book is so accurate when it comes to these spirit cards. It's a spirit deck. It's beautiful, beautiful deck by the artist Kim Kranz. And this is the first time I've ever gotten this card, so I definitely want to read it from the book because they're usually pretty pretty right on when you read them from the book. So it is called the Golden Egg. Well, actually, the Black Egg. There is a Golden Egg. I picked the wrong one. Let me find it for you. There we go. I apologize for the delay. I was going through the book, and I found this section and I was like wow it's got a golden egg I didn't even know there was a black egg card in here so this is the egg it's absolutely beautiful let's see if you can see that 
The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures. The truth inside of it resides. No confusions, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies. Not even white lies. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. Books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. Questions like, what do I do now to be true to myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar, sub, subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at every moment in every situation. It's the epicenter of truth the birthplace of our voice. And this is the picture that it shows. So I feel like you're maybe in this right now. I feel like this is you in life, wondering what the hell is going on. You're all over the place, right? You need to make yourself the center like this. This is where the egg is. And this is what you cause when you don't, you're not true to yourself. So maybe you know that your, your relationship isn't going well. Maybe you know someone's being deceitful. Maybe you know that maybe maybe you cheated. Maybe someone cheated. Maybe somebody's not being honest about the relationship and where it's going to go. Maybe you're just going through the motions. I'm not really sure. Maybe this trip that I see way ahead is something where you go by yourself to realign yourself, to ground yourself. Um, I, I'm not really sure. All I know is to be true to whatever you feel and how you feel about yourself. That's all we can do. And love yourself for who you are and don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that you're not worth anything. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini, in February. It's not pertained just to February. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And like I say at all my videos at the end, please make sure you hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and actually pick how frequently you'd like to see um, notifications on uh, more live feeds or more content because YouTube changed it. So a lot of people said they didn't know when I posted videos. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is part two, I apologize, of the Gemini reading. The first part is right next to this video and I apologize the camera cut off. I hope you all have a great night and talk to you soon. Thank you for the support. Bye-bye.